Hello, welcome to another episode of the Hellion Rebellion Rock and Roll Association. Today we are going to talk about a favorite rock and roll band of mine called The Cult. I have loved this band ever since got to be uh, their second album, Electric. I think the first album I ever bought, though, was Sonic Temple. <clears throat> the Cult. They are from Bradford, England. North England. Bradford is known for textiles, especially wool. And they've been known as the wool capital of England or of Europe for a few hundred years now. The cult was originally known as the Southern Death Cult, and they were a sort of like this uh, gothic rock, you know, wearing all black, black lipstick, and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> That's what they were doing in the late 70s, maybe early 80s. They would eventually change into a more uh, rock and roll sort of thing, and, and, and they eventually called themselves just the Death Cult. But they were still holding on to a lot of the gothic thing. And there was so many of those bands in the late 70s and early 80s, especially from England and Europe. Nah, America, not so much. I think America only had 45 Grave at that time. But uh, the cult was... They were kind of a part of the whole post-rock, post-modern rock scene that was that was happening and that was a term that that differentiated uh this new newer newer rock and roll coming out of the 70s but it wasn't new wave it, but and at the same time it wasn't 1970s rock and roll it wasn't classic rock and roll it wasn't led zeppelin it wasn't the beatles it wasn't the eagles uh, so people would call this postmodern at the time and for that time period it would be like uh, maybe my generation or whatever calling the early 90s rock and roll alternative rock you know that's the postmodern thing was they kind of held that to bands like the police the clash or later era clash not not the beginning um talking heads Hmm, what other bands? Uh, Wall of Voodoo. Maybe uh, you might throw in excess in there. You, these would all be post-rock bands. U2 would be a, would would have been considered a post-rock, post-modern rock band at that uh, that time period. And so the cult. There was a time when this came out. She Sells Sanctuary, which is probably one of their biggest hits, still is to this day. When this came out, U2 had just put out, uh, I guess War and Boy is the two albums they had out at the time. And there was there was kind of like a unofficial competition between these two bands. Because when the cult decided to change and streamline their music into a more Americanized, I don't even know if it's Americanized, but they just streamlined it into just more more of a rock and roll thing. And they changed their name from the Death Cult to the Cult. Um, Ian Astabury, the frontman of this band, he, he had a huge, huge respect for uh, 1960s rock and roll. Especially bands like The Doors, like The Animals. He uh, had an obsession with uh, the American West, 
Native Americans, Native American culture, much like Jim Morrison the Doors, and he modeled a lot of his lyrics and some of his imagery, you know, after the Doors. So th this is what really differentiated this band from U2. I mean, U2 kind of stayed the course and became the rock and roll juggernaut that they are and pretty much own the rock and roll industry, even to this day. Whereas the cult had one or two albums that were kind of like the early U2 records, but like I said, they... I, I don't want to say Americanized, I really don't, but there's a lot of Native American themes and and imagery in, in a lot of this music, and they, they became more of a... Uh, I can't even put it into words. They, they, they're lyrically. They became very relevant in in North America, Canada. Um, like the things that they were saying and, and talking about. So um, those two bands sort of diverged, and that 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 sort of quiet competition that was going on uh, basically quit. But the cult is still around to this day. Still put out great albums, and they're still a great band to go see. I've seen them three, four times, I guess. And, I mean, there was a time, I mean, Ian Astbury's a man after my own heart. I mean, there was a time he was bad off on the alcohol. <laughs> He'd show up on stage all kind of messed up, but... I don't know. Those days are long gone. Just kind of like me, I've slowed down a lot too. But how about we go ahead and listen to this? And and I have something special for you. I'm not gonna play "She Sells Sanctuary." I'm not gonna play "Fire Woman." Those are the the two big songs. I'm gonna play something off of the C "She Sells Sanctuary" 12-inch maxi single. Which there's two versions of "She Sells Sanctuary" on here. But there's also another song on here called Little Face. And I, if I'm not mistaken, I think Little Face can only be found on this. Now, I, I could be, uh, feel free to uh, disagree with me on that. Uh, I'm usually wrong about a, a bunch of things. So, let's go ahead and listen to it. That's why we're here. Let's listen to the music. You don't want to hear me keep on rambling on about some goofy crap that Probably isn't true anyway. All right.
That's a good song. So, I, I, do you hear what I'm saying? Like, that, that, them and you two were kind of doing something real similar at that time. But the, you know, after after an album or two, they 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 like I said, they diverged paths and they, they became two radically different bands. Uh, and I and I forgot in my my uh, postmodern post rock tirade, I forgot to add uh, Billy Idol. He was a big one. He had just gotten away from uh, Generation X, and he kind of became the sort of post rock, post modern rock artist. Um, so that's all I have for you today. Good luck with the quarantine. I forgot what day it is, but hey, we're still doing it. Hopefully, we learn from the past and we're doing the right thing and not destroying the world's economy. We are going to have to rise back up and bring uh, the world back sooner or later. So uh, keep the faith, keep rocking in the free world, and I will see you next time. Thank you.